Today, I am making the Mumbai Rasta style Vada Pav and Mirchi Bhajiyas. So let's get cooking. Few boiled potatoes, few green big chilies for the bhajiyas, chopped coriander, a few green chilies, curry leaves, lemon juice. We need two tablespoons of garlic, one tablespoon of ginger minced. We need half a teaspoon of haldi, one teaspoon of jeera and one teaspoon of rye mustard seeds and a pinch of hing. Making the vada pav ka mixture. So for that, we need to start with the boiled potatoes. I'm going to add two to three tablespoons of oil to the pan. So let me add the rice and the jeera and the hing. To this now, I'm going to add two tablespoons of garlic and a tablespoon of ginger. Please do not compromise on the quantity of garlic. The more, the better and the closer to the flavor of the Rasta style vada pav. So now, a little secret that I have always been doing is to add a bit of coriander while I'm making the tarka. This kind of gives it a very, very different uh, flavor. So once your raw smell of the ginger and garlic goes away. And I'm going to add them. If you want to add more, you can totally add more. Cook the chilies. I'm going to add the halvi. Give it a good stir. And now, to this I have about 4 to 5 medium sized potato. I'm going to press them by my hand because you don't want a completely mashed consistency. I want a few pieces also in the vada pav mixture. About a teaspoon. And now, I'm gonna stir all this, give it a good mix. Mix well until you see the whole mixture uniformly yellow. Make sure the mixture is dry, do not add any water at this point. All you are doing is coating the potatoes to the tarka and do not overcook this. I don't want the potatoes to go mushed and that's it. Just switch off the gas, add uh, about a teaspoon of lemon juice, last but not the least, dhaniya ka patta, finely chopped. So I am going to mix this and I am going to let it cool. The mixture is ready. Now, I am going to be uh, telling you how to make the dipping batter. Now, this is the dipping batter. I have taken one and a half cup of besan and a quarter cup of rice flour. To this, I am going to add uh, half a teaspoon of haldi, a spoon of mirchi powder, a pinch of baking soda, half a spoon of ajwain, half a spoon of salt half a teaspoon of hing so first mix this well make sure all the seasonings are mixed now I'm slowly slowly going to add some water first make it a thick paste so that there are no lumps so now I'm going to be adding another cup but do not add this all at once so I'm going to add a little more water to this You don't want this to be very thin and you don't want this to be extremely thick. It's still not completely a pouring consistency. I'm going to still add a little more. I've not yet used up the second cup entirely. So yeah, I'll stop at this. This is perfect for the vadas where you can see that it doesn't stop. It's pouring continuously. So we need this consistency exactly. My frying station is ready. I'm going to be making the vadas out of this and I'm going to stuff the chilies with the same mixture. So you can have two bhajis two ways. You can make them smaller if you want. You can make them big if you want. You can flatten them if you feel like eating it in a bread but uh, vada pav is supposed to be round. I have put the vadas in the basin now, the batter. 
and I'm using a spoon so it's easier for me to slip the vada in the oil and it's evenly coated with the besan. Coat the other vada and slip it inside. Wait for about 20 seconds. Let it coat well. And please do not overheat the oil. Otherwise, they'll burn first and uh, blast in the oil or something. So, just be careful your oil temperature is controlled. Move them around so that they uniformly get uh, the reddish brown color. So yeah, and that's how my vadas are ready. It took hardly any time, isn't it? I have now added extra basin for the mirchi bhajiyas because I need the batter to be a little more thick than the vada mixture. You can add about two to three uh, spoons of basin to this to make it thick enough. For the mirchi bhajis, you slit them just in the middle so that you get a pocket. Inside this pocket, you take some of this mixture and you stuff it. But be very slow because I don't want to break the chilli in two pieces. Looks perfect to me. I'm going to stuff another one which I've already slit. Make sure it's evenly stuffed, not just the center or the bottom of the chilli. It should be completely stuffed. So keep pushing the aloo inside as much as you can. So yeah, you can see that I have stuffed the mirchis. I have added the mirchis to this. This is how it should completely coat the chilli and should not drop off. It should not flow off the chilli and drop it. So after like 7-8 seconds, you move around the mirchi and it kind of puffs up because of the soda that we put. This should take about a minute or two because the chilli needs to cook inside. So make sure you're slow frying this and not hurrying up with this whole process. And just like that, we have finished the street style Mumbai Vada Pav and the Mirchika Bhajis. Let me show you a closer look. I have cut the bhajis in two halves and this is how it looks from inside. And the vadas are perfect. I have added the red chutney for the added Z. Now, I'm sure you're going to enjoy your Mumbai rains with this in the comforts of your homes. Keep enjoying these recipes and follow Tinkin Palette on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.